I assume it's much like Ferris Bueller in terms of its pronunciation, but it's got an umlaut there, so it's Bueller. I just purchased way too much cheese. 360 videos, 365 days a year. Hey, that might be a new tagline. Tune in tomorrow, see if it is. All right, welcome back to Swiss Cheese Trails. We are coming down off of that uh, unbelievably great view uh, into the town of Bueller. I assume it's much like Ferris Bueller in terms of its pronunciation, but it's got an umlaut there, so it's Bueller. I read up on this town and uh, didn't actually find a whole lot. I mean, obviously it's a town that's been here a long time, but I just think it's been a small town. Uh, a little less than 2,000 people for at least the last 100 years. This is the tram that goes in and out of Sangala and the end of the line. I tried to mention this on the first video that was so goofy in the square of Trogen but uh, these trams come in and out of Sangala and that's the central point and then they their lines end at either Trogen or Appenzell and so it's really easy to go in either direction to make a day trip a great day trip out of this because you got the these trams going back and forth it's the same same line it's just two different ends of it I wanted to turn on above town so we can get some of the mountain views and some of the pasture views. This water here, most of the time, that's actually okay to drink. <laughs> so goofy. I, uh, I definitely Drinking water, not out of the trough, but the faucet that's flowing into the trough. I've definitely had to fill up. Just a town in the, you know, in a valley, a hole in the hills. That's pretty cool. All right, well, have a good day. Tune in tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's see what tomorrow brings. All right, so we're in the town of Bueller, and uh, I just wanted to show you these series of beautiful buildings here, but uh, in particular, this building here with the overhang. Now in Bern, if you go to Bern, and I highly recommend going to Bern, um, they have a lot of examples of what I'm about to say, but my understanding is that overhang was uh, indoor plumbing. That was the idea of an indoor bathroom. And uh, you, uh, I assume have a seat, open the lid and let gravity do the rest. In Bern, uh, the house is all fronted on the streets where the clean water fountains are. Uh, and then they backed up against uh, the, the sewage stream. And so all the backs of the buildings in Bern would have indoor bathrooms uh, like that. And just that was the stream that would go behind the buildings. It's very specific. But, uh, you know, these buildings have been around for hundreds of years, so you got to believe that a lot of that uh, knowledge that no longer is necessary, the architecture still shows it. This is a really nice town. I love these buildings. Well, spin around. And... Uh, 